Welcome to Murder Tale Shorts, thrilling, chilling, true crime at its bloody best. I'm H.N. Lloyd. On the 17th of February 1972, nurse Dorothy Simpson and trainee nurse Catherine Nuttall sat in the office of the neonatal ward Blackpool Royal Victoria Hospital. The two nurses suddenly became suspicious when 18-month-old Darren Quaymore stopped crying. The child had been upset for most of the evening and his sudden silence was peculiar. The two nurses stepped out on the ward to find a man standing over baby Darren's cot. He seemed to be punching baby Darren. The two nurses rushed forward to help the baby. It was only then that they realised that the man wasn't punching baby Darren but had been stabbing him with a knife. The man turned on the nurses and inflicted several stab wounds upon them before fleeing from the ward. The injured nurses managed to raise the alarm. By some coincidence, Police Sergeant Robert Dobson was in the accident and emergency department and he ran up to the neonatal ward. What he discovered shocked him. It wasn't just baby Darren who had been attacked. Four-year-old Deborah Carson, two-year-old Nicholas Scott and 19-month-old Martin Lang had also all been attacked and what was worse, all three were dead. Before being taken to be treated, the two injured nurses told Police Sergeant Robert Dobson a piece of news that shocked him even further. The attacker of the three children had been one of the doctors at the hospital. The killer had been Dr Ahmed Al Alami. He was the hospital's chief ophthalmic surgeon. He had only worked at the hospital for a few months, but his strange behaviour had been a warning sign to several of the other hospital staff. Indeed, the chief psychiatrist at the hospital had told his superiors he believed that Dr. Alami suffered from schizophrenia. Alami was tracked down to the accommodation which had been given to him by the hospital. He immediately confessed to the crimes. Indeed, when his background was looked into, it was discovered that he had been discharged from the Palestinian army because of his mental health. He was a diagnosed schizophrenic. Dr. Alami was assessed as being unfit to stand trial and he spent several years in Broadmoor High Security Hospital before being deported back to Palestine. Here he became one of the leading world authorities in Palestinian history and published 22 books. For more information on this shocking case, please read Murder Tales The Child Killers Volume 2 and don't forget to sign up to the Murder Tales podcast. Until next time, don't have nightmares.